Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'd like to introduce John Madden. He is serving his 22nd year as director of the Michigan State University Spartan Marching Band. In the MSU College of Music, Professor Madden serves as an associate professor of music and associate director of bands as well as the conductor of the MSU Symphony Band. Professor Madden travels throughout the United States conducting teaching and adjudicating. In March of 2008, Professor Madden was inducted into the prestigious American Bandmasters Association. Ladies and gentlemen, contributed, conducting the 2010 Band of Pride tribute, please welcome John Madden. and the stellar musicians that make up this year's Band of Pride. The 2010 Band of Pride tribute is dedicated to Sergeant Ronald A. Kubik, an American hero. Ron, an Army Ranger, highly decorated, was killed in action on April 23rd of 2010 at 21 years of age. He gave his life for his country during combat missions in Afghanistan. He saved the lives of 10 soldiers and 19 Afghan women and children. Performing in his honor is his high school mar marching band from Manasquan, New Jersey, conducted by Alan Abraham. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Ron's mom, Eileen Daly. Eileen, on behalf of the Band of Pride Tribute, it is our honor and it is our privilege to thank you and your family for the service they have given to this country. Please accept this donation in the name of the Ron Kubik Memorial Scholarship to foster education at Manasquan High School. God bless. Ladies and... Ladies and gentlemen, Eileen Daly. Thank you, Melinda. I am honored to accept this check for Ron's scholarship fund. And I want to thank each person who gave of their time and energy to make this memorial possible, especially Melinda Marinoff. Thank you, Melinda. And I want to thank all the musicians who are here today to play in honor of my son, Ron. Thank you so much. I would like to give a special tribute to all our veterans in Times Square here today. 
and to all our veterans. Thank you so much for protecting us and fighting for us so that we can have all the freedom we have every day in beloved America. Thank you. Now, I would like to share a quote written by my son, Ron. We are here on Earth, and we have the opportunity to do something truly great. Find a cause you believe in and fight for it. Make your dream a reality. And that is exactly what my son, Ronnie, did. He had an energy and a purpose that he brought into everything he did. He was a passionate musician and an avid guitarist who could express his emotions playing his electric guitar. He formed a band called Avoid Within, and they played at concerts with other musicians. Ron didn't merely participate in whatever he did. He always gave himself fully. I would like to read a quote to you from Manasquan High School about Ron. He was one of Manasquan High School's most well-rounded students. In class, he was full of boundless enthusiasm and intellectual interest, no matter what the subject. My son Ron was an achiever who discovered a thirst for life at an early age. In school, he was on the honor roll. He played football and made varsity as a sophomore. He wrestled, acted, and wrote a column for the school newspaper called Adventures with Ron. You name it, Ronnie did it. He even started writing a motivational book called Take Control. In his book, Ron encourages us to take control of our lives, think for ourselves, and pursue our goals. Ron had a strong desire to serve our country. As with everything he did in life, he threw himself totally into being an Army Airborne Ranger. He joined this elite unit and quickly moved up to sergeant. He was on his third deployment to Afghanistan when he lost his life. We can appreciate all that he accomplished by the tender age of 21. Ronnie found a cause he believed in and he fought for it. He believed in America and he fought for what America stands for. Knowing freedom isn't free, he laid down his life for all of us. And I know his spirit is with us today. Ronnie was a person who always believed in following his dreams. And I know that playing here in the Big Apple is a dream come true for many of you. As we move through our lives, let us always remember the great sacrifices that Ron and all our veterans have made. Sacrifices that have enabled us to follow our dreams in a free country. May God bless each of you.
Thank you.